This video includes a paid sponsorship from Joa, but I'll talk more about that later. Elon just revealed that Tesla is targeting a zero to 60 mile per hour time of less than one second with a new Roadster, which would smash the existing production car records. Follow along with me as I discuss how SpaceX technology should make this possible, when the Roadster should be in production, and more based on what Elon Musk recently shared. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. The first production vehicle that Tesla sold was, of course, the original Roadster. And then in 2017, as a one more thing during the Tesla semi reveal event, Tesla surprised the crowd and surprised us with a brand new Roadster design. So back in 2017, that was revealed. Of course, here in 2024, it's been quite a few years since then, and a lot has changed. And the design of the Tesla Roadster will likely be quite different when it comes out. And that should happen um, next year, as I discuss. But Elon Musk recently posted about the Tesla Roadster on X.com, and he wrote, quote, tonight, we radically increased the design goals for the new Tesla Roadster. There will never be another car like this if you could even call it a car. This is really interesting language from Elon Musk. There will never be another car like this. Of course, the new Roadster design that was revealed back in 2017, while amazing looking, it really looks like a lot of other uh, supercars in its shape and um, it looks a little different, but in basic shape and form, it looks like a standard supercar. But if there's never going to be another car like this, that means there's going to be some crazy technology in it, including SpaceX technology, which I will discuss. On that topic, Elon Musk added Tesla slash SpaceX collab. And this really confirms once again that the SpaceX package is going to be a thing. At least that's the idea right now. And this SpaceX package will definitely be necessary for the Tesla Roadster to be able to go zero to 60 in less than one second, but I'll discuss more about that later. As for when the new Tesla Roadster should go into production, Elon Musk added production design complete and unveil at end of year, aiming to ship next. And there's a typo here that should be next year. When the Roadster was unveiled back in 2017, it was supposed to go into production in 2020. Then that was pushed back to 2021, et cetera, et cetera. And most recently production was supposed to happen in 2024, but now it's being pushed back to 2025. Hopefully 2025 is the year and it is a good sign that production design is complete of the Tesla Roadster. So that is encouraging, but I'm not holding my breath just yet until we actually have an unveiling of the new prototype. And when it comes to the unveiling event, Elon Musk added, I think it has a shot at being the most mind blowing product demo of all time. Once again, that's a lot of hype, but with SpaceX technology built into a vehicle, it's definitely going to be an interesting unveiling. When it comes to the performance of the Tesla Roadster, Elon Musk replied to Sawyer Merritt and Sawyer Merritt wrote, quote, targeting a zero to 60 mile per hour time of approximately one second with the fastest spec. Please tell us this machine is coming soon. Elon replied zero to 60 mile per hour in less than one second. And that is the least interesting part. Going from zero to 60 miles per hour in less than one second is completely insane and is really pushing the boundaries of what is possible with a street legal vehicle. As a reminder, the Plaid Model S is able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in just a little bit under two seconds with the one foot rollout subtracted. And that's also pretty crazy, especially when you consider that the Plaid Model S is a four door passenger vehicle. So going zero to 60 miles per hour in roughly half the time that it takes the Plaid Model S to get to that speed is going to be pretty crazy. And I'm looking forward to actual tests seeing that happen. The Tesla Roadster will not be the first vehicle to go zero to 60 in less than one second, but it may end up being the first street legal car to do it. But before I discuss some of the world's quickest cars for perspective, this portion of today's video is sponsored by Joa, one of the world's leading providers of quality Tesla accessories designed to enhance your Tesla driving experience. Whether you own a Model 3, Y, S or X, Joa has you covered with many great products, including their center console tray organizers to help keep your center console neat and clean. Their all weather floor liners with anti-skid backing and hook and loop fasteners for a secure fit, a wireless game controller that's designed to take your Tesla arcade gaming experience 
to the next level, or for example, their foldable car tray that is easy to open and fold and conveniently stores in the Model 3 or Y front trunk or under the seats of a Model X or Y. Find these and many other great accessories for your Tesla by going over to joa-life.com forward slash cleanerwatt and using this link will automatically load in the discount code cleanerwatt which will save you 5% off your purchase. I will put this link in the video description below and do note that I do earn a commission on any Joa purchase you make using this link, which does help support this channel. AMZ Racing recently achieved a sub one second, zero to 60 mile per hour time with an ultra light modified electric formula race car that is closer to a go-kart than a passenger vehicle. And it obviously is not a street legal vehicle. According to this article, that vehicle was able to go from a standstill to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers per hour in just 0.956 seconds. And according to this Instagram post by AMZ Racing, that is a new world record for an electric vehicle, and this has been accepted by Guinness World Records. When it comes to actual production electric vehicles, vehicles that you could see on the road, the $2.2 million Remac Nevera should be able to go 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 1.74 seconds, according to Edmonds. But I came across a British car startup named McMurtry, and they have developed the McMurtry Spurling, and that vehicle is able to go 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.4 seconds. It's an all-electric vehicle, and they plan to have a production version that could be released in the near future. And the track only production version is going to be called the Sperling Pure, but they have hinted at a possible street legal version in the future. Note that in order for this single seat electric supercar to be able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in 1.4 seconds, it requires fans that produce over 4,000 pounds of downforce to give the vehicle enough traction to accelerate that fast. According to this Inside EVs article, the amount of downforce created by the vehicle's fans at a standstill is greater than the amount of downforce created by a Formula One car at 150 miles per hour. And really this huge amount of downforce is the key and this is where the SpaceX technology will come into play with a new Tesla Roadster. Traction is of course really important because you could have a vehicle with 1 million horsepower theoretically. But if the vehicle doesn't have good traction, all you would do is just spin the wheels and you wouldn't really go anywhere very quickly. But if you have excellent traction, then that power can actually be transferred into forward motion. So this 4,000 plus pounds of downforce created by the McMurdy Spurlings fans, that really is the key to the vehicle's quickness. Yes, the approximately 1,000 horsepower motor is a big factor there, but traction in this case is more important. And for the Tesla Roadster to be able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in less than one second, SpaceX technology will have to be involved. Now, over the years, Elon Musk has shared some details about the SpaceX package, including back in 2018, where Elon Musk posted, quote, SpaceX option package for new Tesla Roadster will include approximately 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car. These rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. Maybe they will even allow a Tesla to fly. Notice that this SpaceX package should not only be good for a straight line performance, fast acceleration, but it should also help with track performance when it comes to cornering and braking. So the Tesla Roadster equipped with SpaceX technology should be able to break a lot of track records. In 2021, Elon Musk posted, new Roadster is part rocket. And the Tesla owner Silicon Valley Twitter account asked Elon Musk, can it fly? To which Elon replied, a little. If the Tesla Roadster is indeed able to fly a little or hover a little bit, that will of course qualify as a mind blowing product demo. I mean, when is the last time that you saw a car hovering? Probably never. I also expect that a 500 mile range version will not exist, but instead Tesla will prioritize performance. That seems to be where they're going with this. Because if you add a bunch of batteries to the vehicle and make it really heavy, that negatively impacts performance and really cornering and, and track performance, et cetera. You don't want too much weight in the vehicle. And this would follow suit with a decision that Tesla previously made not to produce the Plaid Plus Model S, which was supposed to get a range over 500 miles. 
With that being said, I would love for you to share what you think about all this in the comments section below. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to Joa for sponsoring this video. Remember to click the link in the video description to save 5% off your Joa purchase. And doing so also helps support this channel because Joa gives me a commission off of your purchase at no extra cost to you. I also wanna say thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.